2022 AE1 is a Tunguskai event-sized asteroid, classified as a near-Earth object of the Apollo group. The 230 feet wide asteroid 2022 EA1 was discovered on January 7 and frightened space defenders because it appeared bound to collide with our planet on July 4, 2023, too soon to launch a deflection mission, according to a statement by the European Space Agency (ESA). Furthermore, the asteroid was given one of the highest rankings on the Palermo scale, a ranking which astronomers use to categories and prioritize impact risks said by ESA and NASA. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, 2022 AE-1 will make its closest approach to Earth. As the Moon moved away, and astronomers were able to recover asteroid 2022 AE-1, they learned more about it. The new observations also show the space rock has a speed of 39,504 miles per hour relative to Earth. It completes an orbit around the Sun every 652 days, 1.79 years. On July 1, 2023, the 230-foot space rock will return, passing at a nominal distance of 4,192,066 miles from Earth. The prospect was frightening. Space defenders feared if the asteroid hit the Earth it would likely wipe out a city, causing destruction similar to the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima in Japan did at the end of World War II. But a recalculation of the asteroid's trajectory has revealed it will miss the Earth. When it re-emerged, fresh observations were made. These changed the calculations, proving that the asteroid would pass by Earth at a safe distance. Astronomers had been concerned that there wasn't enough time to prepare a defense system against the asteroid had it been on track to strike Earth. In November, NASA launched the DART system, which will seek to determine whether crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid could change its course. The spacecraft is expected to hit the asteroid in September. If you really like our video feel free to support us with a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe our channel Cosmobytes and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future.